A powerful 7.8 magnitude earthquake jolted Taiwan's capital of Taipei. Now the quake has prompted tsunami warnings in the self-ruled islands, parts of southern Japan and the Philippines as well. The epicenter of the quake is recorded in waters off the eastern coastline of Taiwan. As per Taiwan's weather administration, the quake hit at a depth of 15.5 kilometers, collapsing buildings in the Hualien city and trapping several people. This is also the strongest quake to have hit the island in the last 25 years. Japan has alerted evacuation advisory for the coastal areas of the Okinawa prefecture on a scale of 1 to 7 Tokyo's authorities have slated the the quake at an upper 6 and this comes as tsunami waves as high as 3 meters that's nearly 10 feet were expected immediately in Japanese islands in the region yeah. The quake was also felt in several regions in China these include the Fujian province and the Shanghai region Meanwhile the Philippines has also issued warnings in its coastal regions urging residents to evacuate to higher grounds. And for more on this we're now being joined by Ross Charles Feingold political analyst from Taipei. Thank you so much for joining us sir. Uh, on world dna the epicenter of the quake was just south of taiwan's walian city what's the ground situation it's very frightening uh, you know some earthquakes uh, you could tell right away that it's it's going to shake but not be particularly strong and then an earthquake like this one uh, today it, it was a strong shake right from the beginning and it continued to get stronger so we're seeing reports of uh, a, a few building collapses There's blackouts, uh, train service in many parts of Taiwan stopped and is slowly resuming after the lines are checked for any damage. Uh, and uh, as you mentioned, the authorities have said that this is the strongest earthquake in 25 years. Unlike that earthquake 25 years ago where the epicenter was actually on shore, the epicenter today was slightly offshore, which probably means that the, there will be damage, but it wouldn't it won't be as significant as as uh, it would have been had the epicenter been on shore. Uh, Mr. Feingold, now tsunami waves as high as 10 feet are expected. How far is uh, the effect being felt? How far is that impact going to be felt across Taiwan and beyond? Usually, Taiwan itself doesn't get very high tsunami waves. It tends to be a problem that uh, Japan is more susceptible to. Uh, but uh, yeah, warnings have been issued, and of course, people shouldn't uh, go near the seashore. A, a bigger risk for Taiwan, and we've already seen several. Uh, instances this morning according to local media reports keeping in mind that the the center of Taiwan is a mountainous region there's going to be landslides and as i said we've already seen a few uh, reported by the television so a lot of villages are actually high up in the mountains or along the mountains in Taiwan including near the epicenter in Hualien County so uh, definitely a landslide risk is something that authorities and residents need to be aware of All right, that was uh, Ross Darrell Feingold joining us from Taipei. Thank you for sharing all your insights. Stay safe, sir. Thank you.